I'm, dro I'm dropping off my packer. This dipshit rolls up. He says, yo, TT, let me talk to you. So, okay, yeah, sure. Now, I haven't talked to Marty in, since he left. Like, I haven't had a conversation, not a hello, not a how are you doing, not a text, not a phone call. I actually, I think he did call me once to ask if we had Wi-Fi. And I didn't even know anything about computers back then. So I was like, oh, I have no idea. You'll have to talk to somebody else. That's it. He comes to me and he says, yeah, you owe me an apology. I'm like, what do you mean I owe you an apology? He's like, what do you mean? What do you mean I owe you an apology? I said, dude, what are you talking about? He's like, I told you what was going to happen. And I stuck up for you guys. Oh, and by the way, OTT, I was the one that wanted you into the company. The rest didn't want you there. They just wanted to use you for your stuff and then get rid of you. That's what he said. I'm like, Marty, no, I ain't apologizing to you for nothing. Once, Dragon, can I call you back in one minute? I'll call you right back. I'll call you back. I said, I, I don't need apology for nothing. I said, Marty, to be honest with you, I think that you wanted the company to fail. And, he, and then he got super defensive, right? And I'm like, dude, he, I, I truly believe that you and X wanted this thing to fail. And I didn't even get to explain my reasoning for that. He just started throwing a fit and started walking away, calling me a pussy and calling me all these names because he can't handle the fucking, um, the, you know, the, um, the fucking facts. That guy is the one that was constantly creating problems. He's the one that changed our fucking locks and demanded money, fucked us all when we were making progression. And then on top of that, he did that shit at the bank in front of Raymond when when him and X were, were going back and forth. And I think Marty realized that X wasn't going to backstab us when he wanted him to. So then Marty said, okay, fuck you guys. I'm out. And then he wanted to look like he's a savior. And he, and he had her backs the whole time. I fully believe that him and X wanted to fuck us all. X didn't want to fuck us until eventually we didn't do three days of progression he got fucking bored out of his skull and then robbed us dry while we were asleep. And I guarantee you, Mickey, him and X are in fucking cahoots. It's only a matter of time before I see them two rolling around with each other with our fucking stolen goods. I can guarantee it. Who else is he running to? He ain't going to run to Lang. We just were in a war with them. I'm not an idiot. Well, but I also let Marty go and do his own thing. I never called him. I never talked shit to him. I just let it happen. Well, I'm trying to understand it from Marty's perspective. And I feel like he probably uh, felt hurt and betrayed because he frankly did warn us and told us exactly what would happen. Um, and uh, we kind of just went along with it. But I mean, for instance... Let me put it this way. I mean, I, I thought I, I thought John Paul would leave. I just didn't think he would fuck us this much. I'd fuck us a little, just not this much. But but I mean, at the end of the day, I don't think any of well, I don't know. You said you didn't have really much correspondence with Marty. I don't think any of us really gave Marty any grief. And none. In fact, I think the only person who gave Marty grief upon Marty leaving was John Paul himself. So I yeah, don't and know I think why it was we, a ruse. I think it was a ruse. I don't know if any of us were actually I mean, like... The t t you really think about this, right? You know leaves the gang or the group or the company, whatever we want to call it, right? It is a company. It's not I don't a gang, think any of us really saying. were... Uh, he leaves the group. And X throws a fit over a computer that he... That you know paid for, not him. And I don't think all any of us was really cared. was getting his own little computer over there so that he could test some shit out. And now... He leaves and he steals 75 to 80% of everything we have. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, I was pretty sure it was sort of like, you know, left and John Paul was extremely upset about that, especially related to the computer. Marty leaves. I'm pretty sure a lot of us either individually or even as a group tried to bring Marty back into the fold. Yes. I don't really think we were particularly... I mean, if anything, I think maybe not an apology to Marty, but I mean, I would say to Marty, at least thank you for being honest about Jean-Paul's intentions. We learned a little bit harder than uh, anticipated. But he wasn't honest about his own intentions. What he has done, in my opinion, 
And maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. Especially how defensive he got. It's just sussy as fuck. Marty diverted as if X was the problem. When in reality, he and X were both the problem. The thing is, is X wasn't going along with the plan that Marty was Sussy. talking about when he was in that May City Bank. When Raymond was like, yo, what's going on? Why are you doing this? What, what do you mean? What, 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 what's happening? Him and John Paul had something going on. I think he realized John Paul wasn't moving, at least at the time. And he wants me to apologize. I ain't apologizing for shit. And here's the honest to God's truth, Mick. You want to know, know what I really thought about all of this since the beginning that I haven't really talked about? Because it's not all, it's not all that important. I knew that you know, Marty, and X were all going to leave this company at some point. You know, because within the first two weeks of the company, he was an, he was an outlier. He, he never gave a fuck about any of the meetings. He would run off, do whatever. He didn't really contribute at all with virtually anything. He wouldn't grind for anything. He wouldn't do anything. All he wanted to do was just be there and hack if hacks were possible, which is fine. I enjoyed his company. I did. But I knew he wasn't going to last. When it came to Marty, I knew he wasn't going to last because X was never going to last. I think Marty could have lasted if X was never in the picture. But the problem is, is Marty is going to go wherever X goes and X is going to go wherever Marty goes. So essentially I knew, and it's the reason why I kept taking Raymond and Benji aside and saying, guys, no matter what happens, this right here, we need to keep this strong. I knew for a fact that JP was either going to fuck off with Marty at some point or backstab us or leave the city. This is what has happened in the past. I used to hang out with these guys. I know what this is like. So I was willing to go through all of this, knowing that some of the core members of the company was going to go in hopes that we could all build a bond strong enough so that when they did leave, oh, we Mickey still and had a family talk. and a company. And look what happened. He fucked us. And here we are. I ended up getting exactly what I wanted out of the company. People I trust, care about, and the ones that are going to be here for a long time. Marty can go ahead and think, oh, we fucked up and we're idiots. No, 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 bro. I was a willing participant in this stupid shit. And if that meant that we all stuck together to create this amazing company with all the interns and the cool shit that we've done. And we took a bunch of leaders that would have normally gone off and made their own gangs that would have struggled on their own, but we all stay together and we do something special and different. I was willing to do that. What has actually happened to us? whoop de doo we lost eight to 10 mining racks and a dipshit that gets caught every second day with a PD weapon? Who gives a fuck? Look behind us, what we've done in three days. We never needed him. We only needed him for so long until we built the bond together because he was the centerpiece that got us all together in the first place. He has done exactly what he needed to do for us, which is why I'm not pressed about any of this. I'm not a yeah, fool. No, yeah, no, I am totally not, bro. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I am pissed the fact that he fucked us. Don't get me wrong. I didn't think he was going to fuck us like this. But he did. But at the end of the day, who gives a fuck? We still have each other. And look what we've done. He's fucked off somewhere with eight or ten of our racks. I guarantee you we're already mining more Bitcoin than he did. And he took us down to 16 a day. We're already at over 40. Next week we'll be at 100. Fuck him. 